Most of my constituents where I live in Boyle in North Roscommon, uh, we uh, went to Sligo as our A&E. Mm. In South Roscommon, uh, uh, where Dennis Knockton actually comes from, Ballinasloe will be the local A&E. Mm. The people that are represented in Leitrim, Ballinamore, further up Cavan is the local a &E. Promises were made by other politicians, not by myself, uh, promises that they couldn't and didn't keep. And uh, I made promises after a certain vote uh, in July it was my first time to meet the consultants. Every promise I made in the last four and a half years, I have kept. Uh, we've delivered the uh, endoscopy, 8 million endoscopy, which is due to open. It's been staffed due to open the next few weeks. We have 8 million ring fence for rehab for the west of Ireland. I, uh, uh, along with James O'Reilly and uh, Alan Shatter, brought in uh, the air ambulance, which has saved dozens and dozens of lives. And uh, we also have a palliative care building, which has been uh, built by the Mayo Roscommon Hospice, along with the, uh, with the Department of Health to staff it. The Roscommon Hospital will be over twice as big. It'll be uh, five times busier, but most importantly, the consultants in the hospital have said that patients are safer. Uh, but you know, uh, unfortunately, after four and a half years of being used as a political uh, football, I ended up probably being uh, the fall guy. But that's life. Well, and the Kenny made the promise, though. So did you feel a bit let down by him? That's the fact that he, he stood there, he made that promise. Well, uh, promises were made, uh, but the problem was is that we took over in March 2011, mm. and the end of March, the Mallow report came out. And once the Mallow report came out, stated such as small A&Es, such as Roscommon A&E, that simply had only 10 people going through a day, had three consultants in the hospital, didn't have a cardiac consultant, didn't have a pediatric consultant, had nobody to intubate, and no needs to cover overnight, that they were simply unsafe. Mm. Then you had the three consultants actually in the hospital, writing a letter in to say they couldn't stand over uh, the safety of the patients. Once that happened, it was like a slow car crash, the game came, and then you had a vote. It wasn't on the future of Roscommon Hospital, it was on the future where I think Sinn Féin brought a private member's motion mm. to say that they uh, wanted to ensure all a and E's around the country wouldn't close. It simply wasn't lack of political will, it wasn't lack of finance, it was the fact is that we simply couldn't ensure a safe uh, A&E running with so few inputs.